All of us like to tell uh, ghost stories around the campfire and uh, tonight I just wanted to tell you one of the stories from my past that um, you know sometimes there's not always an easy answer and there's always questions in your heart. I started uh, Rand in 2002 with a heart's desire to see uh, people in their 20s and 30s come to know Jesus and uh, I ran a house group within Rand and there was 15 guys in it. Love every single one of them, amazing uh, men. And uh, we've been gathering together for a year, encouraging each other every week, praying together, um, just walking through all our struggles together, being real and vulnerable uh, with one another. And uh, one day I got a phone call that um, one of uh, our, our closest friends within it, Matt, he had been in a motorbike accident. And um, we found out just slightly later that he had actually been killed. It was one of the hardest times that I've ever experienced in my life and I wasn't even family. I can't imagine how difficult it was for his family. And Matthew was such an amazing guy. He was one of the youngest in the group. As a matter of fact, he was the youngest. Um, he was filled with life. He was filled with enthusiasm and dreams. And all the guys in the group, we didn't know what to do. So we just spent the next week literally together 24 seven, praying, talking, asking questions, being angry, being confused. And I remember being at his funeral and just feeling the voice of the Holy Spirit saying to me that Matthew's life over his 19 years had accomplished so much and I felt like God saying to me what is your life going to accomplish and what are you going to do for the kingdom what um, what are you going to do to glorify my name and Matthew in his death glorified God yet all of us were left with questions unanswered questions and confusion and uh, I look back on that time, which was over 10 years ago, and here we are as Rank Collective, and we've, you know, heard so many stories that our music has helped so many people, so many things going on, and uh, such difficult stories like that that people have shared with us. And I feel like there's a slight glimmer of redemption within that, that God has been working and God has been moving, but yet still, I'm still talking to you today saying, I don't fully understand what went on. I certainly wouldn't have chosen that. I know his family have been through so much and have been in my prayers ever since, but what do we do with that? And what do we do whenever God doesn't show up and when there are all those questions? And it feels like God is, you know, like he's hit the mute button on his own voice and we're right there in the silence. And I just wanted to share that ghost story with you tonight of struggle and of pain and of and of and of fear and of questions and um, to know that even within all of that that God's presence is there and I think that's the one thing I hold on to and the one thing that we all held on to back then was that God's presence was there with us and that he hadn't left us and that he hadn't forsaken us and that's what gives me hope each day and that's what I encourage you today as well is to remember that that when we walk through the fire and we walk through the flood that his presence is standing right there beside us.